So I've just come back from a holiday in Cornwall um, for a week uh, with the family. Um, didn't go in the van, went in the, uh, in the daily, which is an Alfa Romeo. Um, and I've missed the van. I needed to take it out for a little drive, give it a few, few miles, a little bit of a run, top it up with diesel. I've not done so since I had my last trip in Wales. Um, and I thought I'd, uh, I'd stop and, and, and just talk about uh, my favourite things about having the van. Um, Non-biased, you know, no, no adverts or anything like that. You won't see that here. <laughs> uh, and just, just all the positives, really. I don't want to talk about negatives. I see so many um, videos lately just saying, "Oh, this went wrong. You won't believe what happened here and this, that, and the other." So, I'm not going to do that. Just going to talk about my favourite things uh, about having the van. It's off the cuff. Uh, it's not planned. So. Um, I'm probably going to ramble, but um, let, let's let's talk about it. So number one for me is just being outside. You might I don't know if you can see the backdrop here, but um, I've just took the car out for a run. It's early Sunday morning, um, and I'm parked up next to forest and fields, and there's a cricket ground over there. It's just getting out. You know, if you work in an office like me, I think majority of people work inside, um, you know, just to know at the weekend you can come out, you know, do whatever you want, go drive wherever you want, find a good parking space. Um, and then, you know, you just enjoy your surroundings. You don't even have to do much. You just sit here, look out and it, it's lovely. Um, so that's that's my that's probably my favorite thing. Second thing is having a van forces you to get out more, you know, these vans aren't aren't cheap running costs as well and everything like that so you're always going to make sure you get the the, the best use out of it um so um that, that's what i think is good as well you know you see it sitting outside and you think yeah i tell you what you know we're not doing anything at the moment let's let's pop out even let's have a toasty in the van let's you know whatever have a bit of lunch outside that's number two for me number three is going to be um I've not had the van a long time, but you still feel like there's um, a sense of community. Um, the only sense of community really I've got so far is putting videos out on YouTube um, and also driving around. Um, you know, anyone in, in their van, they give you a little wave. Um, anyone who's got like a little convertible or something like that, like an MX-5, they always do that. Um, and uh, in in the van as well it's it's done it's pretty cool um i do find people in um some of their ultra high spec um new vans might not give me a wave but um i'll give them a wave um and if they don't want to wave a hand painted <laughs> van with a roller that's fine um but that's what i love you know you go out you, you wave at other people and you appreciate their van you know no one cares really that mine's been painted by um by hand um outside my house with a little pot of paint um but yeah that that's that's something i really enjoy the other thing i would say is there's so many parts for these vans you know i took mine to the garage got it serviced no issue something needed to be done it was done really quickly you look on ebay you can find all different parts you can upgrade if you want to i do think there'll be a case of over tinkering with vans i think you know i like to keep it simple um you know i've got my my bits and pieces i've got a little fridge you've got a diesel heater i've got the lights i've got an electric hookup how much more do I need really I don't want to over complicate things you know I've got an awning that's a pain in itself <laughs> so I don't want to go over the top um, but parts repairs you know there's always parts available maybe that's a bad thing because maybe they're breaking down <laughs> and at the end of their life but you know even a T4 probably even more so on a T5 T6 obviously they're newer they're in production and so on um, you know plenty of parts plenty of parts sounds a bit weird but you know that you've got basically a holiday home in a way um you know this is something that you could spend a week in two weeks in if you want to um so you know that you've always got an option always got an option for a holiday for a break you know with me with a young family that helps that's good for me that's something i want to know that we can just think you know what um we've got a long weekend let's pop out let's drive up here let's spend you know find something on pitchup.com and let's go let's go that's what i think is brilliant about this as well so another thing um 
maybe a bit silly, but I just think they look really cool. You know, it's, it's a van, it's been converted, you get a little kitchen area, you get like cupboards, you get a pull out bed. That's so cool. That's so cool. I know back in the day, you know, people think, oh, right, you go around in a van or something like that. You know, it's it maybe not as popular as it was today. And I think obviously COVID and lockdown has had a big part to play in that. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it's really, really cool having a van. You know, um, this one, obviously, I've not done the wheels or anything. They were already on the van, but upgrades and you can tinker around with it a little bit to make it look cool and aesthetically pleasing. Obviously, I've done that on the cheap and I think that's the beauty of it as well. You know, if you want to paint it by hand, do it. No one's going to judge you. Um, you know, if you want to change the wheels and put Porsche wheels, Bentley wheels on it, you can. Or you can just have some steel wheels and no one bats an eyelid. It's cool. You know, you've got a lot of opportunities to do whatever you want to it. Um, so I really love that about these vans. You know, a lot of add-ons, a lot of changes you can make. Um, but they just look cool. I think they're going to be timeless, as the early ones were anyway. They just look cool. And I think that's a big plus, and that's what makes me enjoy it as well. So something that I really love about having a, a van, a camper van, is the stuff that comes with it. Now, I don't mean stuff for the van. I mean stuff for us, the owners of the van, the users of the van. Don't get me wrong, look, even if you hire a van or your mate's got a van, you know, you can do the same. It's not some elite club. Um, but, for example, I was in Cornwall. There's a shop called Vantastic. Obviously not an advert or anything. Uh, and it's all about camper vans, clothes for camper vans. It's, it's, it's quality. Me and my wife um, bought loads and loads of stuff. <laughs> T-shirts, hoodies, jumpers, the lot. Um, just think it's really really cool you know you can uh, you, you can buy loads of loads of stuff and it makes you feel you know oh this is this is cool you know what, what you don't do that for your daily Kia <laughs> maybe you do but do you know what I mean it, it's it's pretty cool um you know air fresheners and um you know little I've got a little um Volkswagen um bottle opener you know stuff like that it's it's brilliant and it gives you gift ideas anyone who's got a van for christmas birthday if you're ever struggling with something to get them get them a t-shirt <laughs> done get them a key ring done you know i've seen people get personalized cushions and stuff like that and it says t4 and then the family name yeah it's just cool it's enjoyable it adds to the whole thing just like if somebody bought a, a holiday home you know they want to decorate it a certain way you can buy all the accessories for you to think ah oh, that's cool you know i've got my van i've got all this i've got my van t-shirt um, and i love that i think that's brilliant and again i think that links into the other one where i said community so one thing i wanted to add in as well um uh, and i missed this out <laughs> but um the fact that you can take the van essentially anywhere um is is huge potentially the biggest point on this and what I mean by that is you can essentially be off-grid so you know I've got the solar panel I've got the diesel heater I've got a leisure battery and that's it that's all you need you know the solar is going to charge your battery you can charge your phones you can charge whatever you need so long as you're not going over the top you know plugging in a lawnmower or something like that yes I've got an inverter but never going to do anything like that you can literally park up and just be free you can go somewhere with zero phone signal and it's brilliant a diesel heater warm yourself up in the winter you know extensive heat um, it, it's it's exactly what you need so that's a huge huge point about having a van off grid solar if you've not got it get it i didn't add mine in it was already done thank god because i wouldn't know what i'm doing i'd have to pay somebody probably to do it but uh, mine's quite a chunky solar panel you can get those really thin ones now i might change it in time um, but honestly the the one thing i think is a must have is just having that solar that is incredible usb points plug points it's really really vital in my opinion and i've never run out of charge it's solar cycles and 
charges up the battery um, even when it's like a bit overcast it's always blinking that it's charging um, and I think that's great the, the battery we've got here isn't even that big I think it's like 70 or 75 amp hours so I probably need to change that if we were going to go on a longer holiday um, but so far we've only done a couple of nights maximum um, the upcoming uh, break that we're going to be doing um, is the longest we're going to go Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday um, so yeah we'll see how that goes and I think that'll set the tone uh, for some of the future trips and um, I'll get my wife on board to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to allow us to go for some longer ones maybe even Europe or something I really want to go to Switzerland but I don't know what the, uh, what the laws are there with wild camping if not we'll just go to a campsite I think that would be the choice anyway but yeah um, but that's just a little quick one you know just talking about things that I like um, as I went to Cornwall we got a little um, a couple of things at Fat Willies as well <laughs> the shop the surf shop so we've got a little sticker put it on the fridge um, as I, I've said in earlier videos there's loads for me to do to the van um, everything's still unpainted um, you can probably see I've got the table here it's still got the stickers on it but linking back in it really doesn't matter does it make any difference to me if this is painted or not no I can still use it um, and I think that's something that is brilliant about having these vans but yeah I have got lots to do I've got lots to change. I probably need to re-insulate it in here because when I was away the other week in Wales, um, it was actually quite chilly. Um, but I've got the diesel heater as well. I'm going to give that a run before my next trip, um, which is later this month in a few weeks' time. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, a few bits to do. Um, paint it up, re-insulate, probably tinker around a bit, but I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. But yeah, let me know what your favourite things are about having a van or the things that make you want to have a van if you've not got one already. Um, so yeah, let me know.